All right, boys and girls, we're at it again. Getting close here. Um, had a few little spots on the hood. <clears throat> Very minor. Most of those I just hit them with the uh, uh, DA sander real quick, and I I don't think I even needed to put any filler on them, but I did anyway just to make sure they get leveled out. Um, what happened was the, I took this hood off of a truck. Obviously, it's painted red. Um, and they had a hood shield on it and evidently they tried putting too long of screws in it and they just barely went up into the the metal so it was actually it was pushed up just a little bit so when i sanded it pretty much leveled it out um i think there was one or two that the the clear coat was just kind of cracked on so i say i just sanded it down i'm slap some filler on there and just just make sure they're good I'm, I'm gonna put a hood shield on it too so that's all gonna be covered up uh, place on the door I got some uh, filler on that so right now I'm just letting that stuff dry um, and I need to get the, the molding off of this door and that little piece on the back of the cab um, I'm gonna remove everything I can and then tape off all the trim and the windshield and the windows and all that and then I will probably scuff it with, um, I don't know if I'm going to go all the way. I'll probably scuff it with 180. 180, I assume. I don't know. I might go do 220. I don't know. Or maybe I'll kind of go in between. Anyway, I'll figure that out. Um, and then I need to primer the, the, the front. And then I want to hit the box again with... Um, I believe I left off 220, so I want to hit it with 320, and then I'd like to go over it again with high build and hit it with 400. At least I believe I have 400. I don't think I went straight to five, but even if I did, 500 would be fine. Um, and then once everything is primered up and taped off and scratched up and everything, we're going to paint it. Now my wife and my sister started building me a paint booth um, out here which it's it's pretty simple just out of PVC come out of here um, it's a little unsturdy right now and it is going to be braced up she's going to put some bracing up in the corners and you know verticals going to the horizontals and so forth we're also going to tie it off to the ceiling and then it's getting covered with plastic. Um, the idea is we're going to put two fans up high, if we can figure that out, um, on that end. And then this end down here, it will be the exit, the exhaust. Um, it's possible I may just leave this end open. I'm not sure. It's the weather this weekend is. I couldn't ask for it to be any better. It's supposed to be like 70 75 80 today today's friday so it's gonna be today saturday and sunday sunday's paint day low humidity hardly any wind and it's from the southeast which is that way um so there really shouldn't be anything getting in here i could probably paint in here without anything and be okay i'm gonna wet the floor down before i paint um, it's my understanding you get like 80 to 90 percent of the crap in your paint off of the floor You kick it around with your feet your air hose and everything and it sends those little dust particles and so forth up in the air um, And it gets in your paint that light does work so that'll help some and then I've got each one of those lights is 500 watts each one of those lights back there on that one is 500 watts I believe that one's a 500 water. Well, I think that one is too. I think I had another one that was 300 or something. I don't know. And then I've got that little one there, which I think I got a bulb for. Um, and I think I have another one around here somewhere. Yeah, there's one right there. And there might even be some more floating around. I don't know. Um, so hopefully I'm going to have enough light in there. If I, uh, I could go in the other side, over there, I can turn the power on in there, 
there is a, I'm not sure what that bulb is, if it's 300 or 500 watt, that would actually probably be pretty good to get that turned on. Um, the thing I don't want to, the thing I don't want to do and the thing you don't want to do, and I know people do it, but you don't want to have anything electrical like um, fans or lights or anything in the, the path of your paint fumes. And I know people do it. I know they exhaust their paint booths with regular box fans and so forth, and most people get away with it. Um, but, I mean, a flash fire, you know, it would just be just like that, and you would have no time. I mean, I don't know. I, don't, I, I personally don't think it's worth the risk. I mean, shit, people have died doing this stuff. Um, doesn't happen very often. I think conditions have to be just right. But it does happen, and after all the work I've done, I really don't want it to happen. So anyway, they do make explosion-proof fans. They do make explosion-proof lights. They're rather expensive. Um, you know, most hobbyists aren't, aren't going to have those. I don't have them, and I'm just going to, uh, you know, try to get the fumes out and not have anything electrical in the path of, uh, of any paint fumes. I th we may leave this end open. If not, I think we're going to try to build a tube that vents it clear out this door. But um, anyway, that's that's the idea. I think it's going to work out pretty slick. So I'm going to cover that whole thing with plastic, and I'm going to put a hole in the wall over there. I can run my air hose right through the the wall and go to town. But Sunday's paint day. Day after tomorrow. We're supposed to have like five mile an hour wind out of the southeast, sunny, low humidity, high temperature about 80 in the middle of the afternoon. So I can probably get this painted when it's, you know, 70, 75 range, which is just, you can't get any better than that. 70, 75, low humidity. Perfect. So I've got a lot to do and I'm going to, um, that mirror's going to come off. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the door handles and the lock and the, those emblems are coming off. Um, I'm going to tape those, those round lights on the front. They're coming off and they're going to stay off. And I'm going to tape up the front end. Um, that radiator support, I, I don't know. Actually, I think I may just leave that black and just, just totally tape off the front. Um, I would like to get... Actually, it's all covered up, so really, and it's, you know, I don't know. I may try to paint, like, the red here. Um, I need to paint under my, oh, no, that's done. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm doing. And I will bring you back in when there's more to talk about. Talk to you later. Thanks. Well, um, <clears throat> I'm putting in quite a few hours on the old truck here. It's um, a little after three in the morning. <clears throat> Got all the spots on the hood taken care of. This camera seems like it is always zoomed in so close. Huh. Um, all the spots on the hood taken care of. Lights are gone. Need to clean that up. Probably get a new bumper or I'd like to get a light bar. Um, did run into <clears throat> well, it, it's all it's all scuffed except the top and the back, the back of the cab. Um, this door over here, this donor door that I picked up the other day, and I wonder when I got it. I know it looks like shit right now. But it really is a pretty decent door. However, I believe it had been repainted because it was just a single stage paint. It wasn't base coat, clear coat. I think the inside is. So I bet what they did, either they repainted it or had to make or repaint the truck or something. Um, there's no rust on the door, but it was just single stage, so I got it sanded all down. Um, 
put a sealer on it and then go from there um, it's right now it, it I know it looks kind of bad but it's uh it's real smooth um, down where all the paint's going right along the bottom that big line right there that's that's where that stripe goes um, and even though it's smooth um, just in case it's not it's going to be covered up anyway so but as far as I can tell it's perfectly smooth um, other than that I got it all scuffed with um, what the hell was I using on this 150 is what I was using I was trying not to put too much pressure on it but um, I wanted to get it good and then I'm going to use the the Tamco gray um, high build primer I'm probably gonna thin it out pretty good because the body's pretty straight right now and don't need to do much uh, much high build and, and, and sanding so basically it's using it as a primer you can also thin it out I can't remember the ratio to make it a uh, sealer and that's what I'll do on that other door over there and that's what I'll be doing tomorrow first thing tomorrow I'm going to do the top and the back of the cab um, that won't take too long but right now I'm I'm just tired um, got the emblems off got the key cylinder out of the door um, so yeah it's about ready to be taped off and get her primered and then on the bed um, like I said earlier, we're going to do another round of high build. Um, possibly not over the whole thing. Um, there's there's just some certain spots I'd like to uh, get. Um, I do need to get it all sanded down in the end to 400. And also get the, the cab here, the truck part or whatever. <laughs> Uh, down to 400 get it taped off and Sunday uh, which tomorrow Saturday Sunday is paint day it's supposed to be I know at 10 o'clock it's supposed to be 70 degrees with a three mile an hour wind out of the southeast which is perfect because right now I'm walking west and out here Got my paint booth all put together, except the door isn't on it yet. Um, and there it is. I've got the fans up in the in the end, both sides. Um, actually, works pretty good. I think it's going to uh, be real good, especially if there's no wind. This, it's good. I think I can just probably leave this end open. Um, and there's not supposed to be any wind fans um, when they're running I don't think they're going to affect me uh, with my painting because if you get up in here you know the front of my truck when I paint it's going to be you know right in here and the air from these fans is blowing straight out and anyway I tried it out and it, it uh, um, I don't think it's going to affect my, my paint spray I'm going to set lights up all around the outside of it so it gets lit up in here. And, um, yeah, I think it's going to, uh, I think it's going to be pretty good. So, anyway, that's where we are. I'm going to go see if I can catch a couple hours of sleep and get back at it in the morning. Well, it is morning, but get back at it here in a couple hours. So, that's where we are. So far, so good. In about uh, 48 hours, she ought to be painted. And I keep my fingers crossed that I can make it look good. So, anyway. I'm going to go catch a couple hours of sleep and I'll, 
I'll catch you in a few hours. Bye.